Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, guys. We're just getting started right now. Looks like both teams are pretty much ready to go at it right now. We got Denali going up against Annex Phoenix back on the show for the second time in a row. But most importantly, we got a long friend of mine, personal friend of mine, Nikolai, back on the show casting for us alongside my man, Jared. He was on here last night. How are you guys doing? I, I don't know. Jared, how are you? I'm awesome. I'm doing great. I'm glad to be back. Last night was a great matchup. Tonight we got another, another great matchup. Excited to see this Phoenix squad back on playing against Denial, who I casted over just last week. This is going to be a good one. I'm excited. I'm excited to be casting along Nikolai for the first yeah. time. How about you, Nikolai? I'm excited to be casting along you. We had an awesome conversation last night, so hopefully it doesn't get as awkward as last night. But we're jumping into Domination <laughs> Octane. Domination Octane. Yes. We always kick off this best of seven with Domination, then Search and Destroy, and then Blitz. First map on Octane. Let's talk about this map. What are some, some, some spots you're going to see a lot of players at, Nico? Well, real quick, real quick, before we get started, guys, it's actually going to be a best of five tonight. What? Uh, yeah, best of five tonight. Unfortunately, uh, some of the players are tired. They do got to get to bed. You know, these guys are pros uh, on, on, on a denial team, at least for sure, but... Uh, so it's a best of five. Keep that in mind, guys. It is a best of five. But keep tweeting out that stream. As soon as we hit 100, we're going to be giving away that Honey Badger at the end of the mm -hmm. show. So make sure you're sticking around for that. Um, but this is going to be a great matchup, Jared. Just like you were saying, I don't I don't even know who to pick. I might have to wait one map to give you my prediction, my man. What? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't, I, don't need a, I don't need one map at all. I'm going to go with Denial on this Ooh, one. Ooh, okay. I don't know. I, I might have to go with Fit, with Fizz and... Uh... Or is Fizz on denial? Yeah, Fizz is on denial. So I'm going denial. Never mind. Denial it is. Well, here we go. I'll let you guys do your thing. I'm still used, I'm still used to calling them VQ. Oh, man. Guys, we're jumping into it. Seven seconds left. We're going to be spawning in. I'm going to be jumping on board with this denial squad. Uh, specifically, player to watch, Flawless. Flawless last time was here on Show Match here on Perfect Alliance. This guy went absolutely ham -bony. He was flawless in a gameplay. He died once in the beginning and literally won on an 18 kill streak uh, in domination on Freight. I'm excited to see what this guy does with an AR as he pushes up here towards the middle map. Gonna try to gain some control. Unfortunately, he can't look through that smoke, but he's gonna spot a couple players. Top broken, able to get some shots off, able to get his first kill. He's gonna stay alive and continue protecting the side of the map. What do you think of some base strategies here, Nikolai? You know, what I want to see here, especially on Octane, is them. You capture your flag, then you want to push all the way through to the enemy flag and start capturing their flag, at least neutralize it. So they have to lessen that focus on B flag and go back to their flag and recapture that, which gives your team a more better opportunity to capture that B flag as they're focusing on their, as, on their flag that you just captured. As you can exactly. actually see, uh, Phoenix is actually doing that right now, as they just yeah, took you, A totally. from... Phoenix able to take out some players there and able to get on that flag, which causes Shills to go ahead and waste some time and try to get back on his flag, which compromises his map control towards the middle there. He's going to push out towards his B flag, about to confront a player, gets taken out. Ooh, nasty two-piece from one of those Phoenix from Dice right there. As he's going to get another, looks like this Phoenix squad's about to take this B flag. And now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hop on board with Shills. We haven't, I haven't seen much of Shills actually lately. I haven't watched anything denial-wise, but Shields has been a great player. I've known of Shields for quite a long time. He's a great with that SMG. He's got that tar, and he's going to go ahead and just he's, looks like just going to hide here. There are some players at top strip from Phoenix as he's just kind of looking over into that garage area, but he's just going to stay down low and hide. So let's hop on board with someone with a little bit more actually going on. That's going to be Fizzif right now. He's also running with that tar 20, with that tar. He's going to go ahead and push it over to C. It looks like either that or top rope and see if anyone's up there, but no, he's going to go straight to C and try to get that cap. As B flag, as they are taking B flag in it, actually they're going to go ahead and lose it now. So uh, yeah. they are they are focusing on that C flag, and that actually might we, we, we'll see here. They're going to go ahead and focus on C, as now Phoenix has to focus on C flag, which will give Denial a little better chance of getting on that B flag. Yeah, complex. Able to make a big play right there. Now he's going to try to take this B flag, but able to save the loss of that B flag. This has been such an even score. Still got two minutes and forty five seconds left. He's just taken out and score is twenty four. 23 as they're able to get that that flag denials now on top taking the lead 27 to 26 now they're just going to try to protect this b flag continue the map control and try to close this out and i'm going to be on board with complex right now he's just trying to play around that b flag but well, we're going to see a lot of action there here probably soon as phoenix is going to start making a push for that hopefully here soon as that is a play they need to control in order to get back into this game as we are seeing denial start to take a lead away but it is still very close 30 to 35 as I'm going to go ahead and move over into 
are onto Flawless. Like you said, he has that AR, and you said he was doing awesome last time you saw him going almost flawless, as we're going to see him go ahead and take out Ren from Phoenix, as he's going to go ahead and push over to C now. It looks like no, he's just going to sit there in a the corner and reload his gun, and he's just going to be watching over B, and there we go. He's going to go ahead and take out Umbra as well, and he's just going to hang out in the garage, it looks like. He's just going to be watching that C flag and stay around top broken. Yeah, I'm watching. You guys gotta be making sure you're paying attention to this mini map. A lot of this game, especially in Octane, revolves around spawn. You know that if you're on denial and you're spawning in that strip club, you gotta be concerned about these Phoenix Square, this Phoenix players pushing onto your A flag, and that's where they had a majority of their map control. I'm on board with Fizzer, who just got taken out top diner. This Phoenix member is gonna keep control of this top pump, but denial still in control of this B flag, taking a commanding lead, 55 to 40, with only a minute and 20 seconds left. This Phoenix squad's got to get this flag quickly or it's going to get out of hand really quickly. Yeah, but it, like you, like it is still a very close match. But I'm going to hop on board with Ren right now who's on that flag and he's going to have some shots on him right now. But he is going to get saved by Dice who took out Fizzer. But then he's also going to get picked up. I'm not sure who that was as the kill feed did fly off my screen, unfortunately. Infinity Ward and their broadcasting mode isn't the greatest yet. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stay on board with Flawless right now as he's just kind of hanging out trying to get someone who's on, who's just actually on top pond, but I believe they did get out of there and they're going to go ahead and move around backside C. And that does look like that's going to be Dice, I believe. And there we go, Whoa. that knife from Dice. Dice Wouldn't has got the blade. Dice is leading his squad right now, 18 and 6. Running out of ammo, actually, at that point there. Very low, but able to stay alive for his team. I'm curious to stick on with his strategy and how he's playing. And he's probably playing a little bit more passively, not engaging in a whole lot of gunfights. Um, but just taking off people whenever he sees them. I'd like to see him get a little more aggressive for his squad since he's winning his gunfights and push up in the middle of the map. Yeah, but let's go ahead and stay on board with the Phoenix guys. I want to see if they're going to be able to tie this up as they do have that B flag now. If they can get this to tie game, I'm not sure if it's possible with that time. But again, it's going to be a close match going into round number two on Domination, Huge. as that is about it. It's going to be 66 to 70? 60, 68 to 71. 68-71. Wow. Denial on top. 71-68. to 68. Holy crap. What a comeback right there by that Phoenix squad. What were they able yeah. to do, Nikolai, to make that comeback? Honestly, I think they just they just they were just able to get around denial in the in, through denial spawns. I think they were just kind of keeping them pushed back, playing very aggressive and able to hold that B flag. We did see them not really focusing on C, but they were really pushed up towards B, but denial did not make that push to go around to try to get C to help them back off of B. And I think that's what really came in and made them come back and be able to hold that B flag for so long. Absolutely. We talk about how crucial it is. Map control is the key to this game, ladies and gentlemen, especially on a giant map like this. Players can be anywhere, and sometimes it's about posting up, winning your gunfights, pushing up, gaining control, and it's about getting two or three down and capping that flag. As we move on to the second round, of course, we've got the minute and five second countdown. Who do you think is going to take this round based on what you saw last round, Nikolai? No, right now it can go either way. I'm not really sure who's going to be able to do this, but again, Denial is up seven.